Good morning, Saugus. I'm Priscilla Pinata, and today is Friday, August 16th. And I'm Carter Watson. This is SNN. Let's start off today's show by going to Mrs. Dickerson and Saugus ASL signer, Bree Sutton. August. I hope your summer was a time for some fun and relaxation. I hope you started off the school year strong. First, as a reminder, the Serenity Space is not a place to come when you are bored in class or feeling sick or have a sub. It is a place to access when you are wanting to learn new coping skills, would like to talk to someone, would like to connect and meet other students, or need resources such as school supplies, food, clothing, etc. There has also been a change in our Serenity Space request procedures. Our QR code has changed. You will either use the QR code when phones are allowed to be out, or you will use the URL website address listed below. The Google form will ask you to identify what the Serenity Space can help you with. You will briefly describe what is happening, such as I need to talk to someone, or I am needing to talk about a friend situation. I will then reach out to you when appropriate at a later time. You may also drop in during your free time, such as an open period, before school, or during brunch and lunch. During class time, you may only access the serenity space if you are in great distress or crisis. Some examples of this would include if you are crying or experiencing a large amount of stress or worry. If you do not have access to the URL or QR code to request coming to the serenity space, please ask your teacher if you can come down. Your teacher can call or email me to make sure I am in the serenity space. Lastly, I wanted to take a few moments to introduce our wellness theme for this year. Our wellness theme this year is be present in school and life. This year, we want you to focus on being present in the relationships you have here at school and the ones you have outside of school. One way to do this is to give yourself time to unplug from your electronic devices. This can give you time to be present and notice the amazing world around us and strengthen the relationships you are a part of. That's all for me today. Now let's go back to our anchors. Thanks, Mrs. Dickerson and Bree. For today's fact of the day, we thought we'd tell you about National Roller Coaster Day. The original concept for roller coasters was derived from 15th century ice sledding in Russia. The first official roller coaster built on tracks was then made in 1784 in St. Petersburg, Russia. The first roller coaster was a simple slide that took riders on an icy hill on a cart with wheels attached to tracks. Catherine the Great boosted the popularity of this new take on ice sledding as she added wheels to her imperial carriage so that it could be attached to tracks and ridden as a coaster cart. The first American roller coaster opened at Coney Island in Brooklyn, New York in 1884. It traveled approximately six miles per hour and cost a nickel to ride. This new source of entertainment was a thrill and an instant success and amusement parks with roller coasters quickly spread across the United States, bringing hundreds, with hundreds being established by the 20th century. One of Santa Clarita's most prominent features is Six Flags Magic Mountain, which holds the world record for having the most roller coasters in an amusement park. It became the first ever park to have 20 roller coasters in 2022 with the addition of the ride Wonder Woman Flight of Courage. Please stand for the flag salute. Please stand. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. If you do not feel well, you must ask your teacher for a pass to the health office. The nurse will contact your parents if necessary. If you are interested in joining National Honor Society, there is a mandatory meeting for all 10th, 11th, and 12th grade students on Thursday, August 22nd at at lunch in the gym. A questionnaire will be distributed and must be filled out in order to be eligible to join. 
Are you looking for a new book to read? Check out the little free library rack outside of Q1709. New books are stocked often, so be sure to visit. Seniors, Senior Sunrise will be on Monday, August 19th at 5.30 a.m. on the football field. There will be food, drinks, and games. Be sure to bring a blanket. The parking lot is only to be used by staff and seniors who paid for their parking spots. Any car in the parking lot without a permit will be ticketed and potentially towed. All students, please remember attendance matters. Five tardies in one period or ten tardies globally will result in Saturday school assignments. Tardies can also result in daily detentions or trash pickups. Upperclassmen with continued tardiness will have off-campus privileges revoked. Try to arrive on school on time. Now let's go to Zach Kuhn with today's Saga Sports Update. It's game seven of the playoffs. I cannot lay off. I do not play so hard to the end. Put my heart on the line because I know I'm a win. Ain't no stopping us. In recent years, electric bikes and scooters have seen a rise in popularity. Both are great forms of transportation for their practicality and efficiency, but just because they're not cars does not mean you shouldn't take the same precautions. Always be aware of your surroundings. Though the average max speed of these is about 25 miles per hour, you and others can still get seriously injured. Make sure you have a means of communication on the trails. Electric vehicles are known for being quiet, so make sure you can be loud when you need to be. Never ride with earbuds or headphones in. Others need to communicate with you just as much as you need to communicate with others. Always wear a DOT certified helmet. It can make the difference between life and death. As long as you keep these important safety precautions in mind on every ride, you'll be good to go. Be sure to follow all rules in regards to micromobility vehicles. Stay alert, stay alive. If you're interested in joining Defy and SCV, Safe School Ambassadors, ASL, or Filipino Culture Club, you should scan the QR code on the screen or email Mrs. Beidler at the email listed below. Upperclassmen, if you do not turn in your off-campus permission slip during summer registration, you'll have to wait about one week for processing time to turn it in. The date to turn it in will be announced shortly. The office will not be giving stickers in the meantime. Students will need to remain on campus during this time. Students are not permitted to leave campus during brunch unless it is the end of their academic school day or if upperclassmen have signed off-campus permission form. Any students found without permission will be penalized. Electronic devices must be turned off and put away during instructional time on campus. Students are permitted to have devices out during brunch and lunch. If a student has an open period, devices must remain off and away. If you are interested in serving and honoring your school community, help keep the campus clean by picking up trash and reminding others to do so. Report any issues with restroom cleanliness to office, sta class, excuse me, office staff or teachers. That's all for today. I'm Priscilla Peñate. Stay tuned for SN Radio and Saugus Today. And I'm Karen Watson. Don't forget that Monday is a late start, so enjoy sleeping in. Have a great day, a great weekend, and we'll see you on Tuesday.